Hey guys, welcome to another session of Epic 7. This is a follow-up loadout video for my Abyss 62 run against Sez. So, um, again, all my uh, strategy was, uh, you know, talked about in that video itself. But here are the gear for my uh, for my units for running that one. Um, I uh, recently pulled an Aureus when I was pulling for Kisei. Um, pulled for, finally got an Aureus. I got a level 5 there. Um, it could be level 6, but I just need a couple more charms. So it takes 14% of the damage suffered by your teammates, which is a lot. It really saves them. M recommended must-have for one of your tanks if you're running dual tanks. Um, for any, almost any content, basically. Um, as you can see, uh, pretty, pretty good health and defense for uh, uh, Max Awakened. Max Awakened level 50, um, so 5 star. Uh, 13, 1,375 defense there and then 16,000 health um it's just because thanks to my uh thanks to my gear and my rules um so quickly show uh, my uh, epic boots here uh crafted this from my golem run i think the first time i finished golem seven or eight um whenever they give you like the t5 material for actually finishing it on the first uh, the first time crafted this and i this has never left him 50 percent health is really good uh, he needs a t6 upgrade i think um but 50 percent health uh, Eleven percent effectiveness, which is good for his provoke, um, and then eighteen percent defense, and he got a flat health and defense there. Um, we got his ring as well, uh, max level of forty-five percent uh, base health, nineteen flat defense, fifty-five percent effectiveness, which is good, and a th speed of three. So you can see on his total stats there, additional three there, just from that ring. Uh, we got a, this is not max level yet, I'm still in the process of maxing it. I think it's a 55% defense. It's a T6 equivalent, so 85 there on top. Um, with a rare, I think it ends up to be 55% defense. Uh, 7% health, hopefully I roll another, another health substat on the last roll there. Uh, critical hit chance is not that needed, but you can see there. Um, not great substats, but I bought them from the secret shop, both the ring and the necklace. And uh, they've been doing well. Um, this is the arena gear that I got, but I kept this on him because it gave pretty good, uh, pretty good health, and pretty decent attack. Now, everything, every damage skills from attack, um, but some of his skills also have an additional scaling from defense. So both his S1 and S2. Oh, this one is uh, actually no, this one is dealt with proportion to Castle's max health. Um, so this one is uh, dealt with uh, defense. So uh, you do require attack in your your base there and then on top of it you add those other modifiers um, max health and defense so for this weapon i'm pretty satisfied with it um it has a 14 percent health and so i kept it kept it on him with a health set uh, six percent critical chance always nice to have a bit of critical chance there and a five percent effect resistance also really important on a tank um he has a 31 percent total effect resistance without going for effect resistance kit um Jeremy Jackson, hey man, thank you for the the sub there. And Obru Menchu says, you play E7 now. Yeah, man, I have, I have. Uh, Martin says, nice, ni nice flexing video. It's not a flexing video, man. This in this game, in this game, all your RNG is pretty much on your your gear. Uh, here we go. So this is a labby home. So what 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 I notice is that uh, usually it'd be like a T5 epic. Um, and this would be like a T5 rare, but with the new numbering system, anything that has a has a one or anything that has a weird weird value to it, it's uh, like a not a not um not a multiple of five. It's usually either a labby drop or something you can buy in a shop or an abyss abyss set something like that. That's what I found. I don't know if that's true, but this is a labyrinth helmet for sure. <coughs> Originally, I was running um the arena helmet but uh, this one got better rolls on it 13 percent health uh 15 percent defense 17 percent effect resistance uh, was like perfect for him i'm like roll this i'm like oh this is going on my crowd uh this is a really good roll arena gear again um a 20 percent health 14 percent defense everything just rolled perfect for him um 11 percent effectiveness again for his provoke and six percent effect resistance and of course, like I said, Aureus. And so that that is the end for my crow. I do have his S1 at plus two. So he has an additional um, 10% or sorry, 5% effect chance. So his provoke is at 60%. Not used, not used in this abyss run here, um, but it's just something to note. 
Uh, next, I want to talk about Lorena. Uh, my Lorena has the Abyss Set 2 on her. So again, I need to finish a couple more floors here to get Abyss Set 3. Um, but uh, it rolled well in, in the terms of attack. So even though I am using uh, Lifesteal Set, 2800 attack, not terrible, with a 94% critical chance, but the effect uh, critical hit damage is quite low. 163. Hopefully I can get them um, from uh, headgear and uh, body armor. I could get the new one later on in the future. Um, but these ones, maybe I'll deal with them right now. Um, not that great. I haven't maxed them out because I haven't found the need to max them out. They're not really giving me what I need. Um, so I'm, I think I'm going to wait for better equipment there. Um, but this one was a uh, lifesteal set bought in the, uh, the secret shop. And uh, it has a 45% critical hit chance. So it's pretty good on her since I was running a lifesteal set on her anyway. 13% effectiveness, not that great. I think this would be good for like my Assassin Cartuja in the future, maybe as a hand-me-down. 5% effective resistance and a 9% critical hit damage. Probably the best substat there uh, for this. It did roll a couple uh, base health, so it kind of sucks. Uh, flat health, rather. Um, the ring, I think everyone knows, is 50% attack. The boot, 50% attack. Nothing notable except that these rolled really high health for some reason. So again, I think all this, once I get my Abyss, um, Abyss set 3, so the T6 set, I'm going to hand this down to Assassin Cartuja. 20% effectiveness, 14% health there. 14% health, 25%, uh, 20 percent effectiveness. Um, this one is a 4% effectiveness, but 28% health with 50% attack. So this is like perfect for Assassin Cartuja. 18% um, attack, 11% health, more health, 6 speed, not bad. Um, and again, like I said, so this set is like a perfect full set hand-me-down for uh, a Cartuja there. Um, I think uh, running 62, running any Abyss, I would think that you would use Daydream Joker. If you do the math and you calculate there are hundreds of thousands uh, worth of HP, you do 2% of that, it's quite high. And this is not a max level Daydream Joker. I think most of you guys, even watching this, should have a max level or maybe you have 18, plus 18, plus 21, I don't know. Um, like uh, Daydream Joker, mine's not even plus 15 yet. So this is definitely not a good one. I have to enhance this if I want to take on more Abyss. <coughs> um, next, I want to talk about uh, Angelica. Angelica was my third, I think third most important. Well, arguably, she's second most important. I would think Crow and then her. Um, I have Wondrous Potion Valon if you have this. Uh, it works wonders, especially for Abyss and especially Abyss 62. Not max level has a 70% 70, 70 chance, I think at plus 15 is a 75% chance, and max level is a 100% chance to dispel. Um, definitely have this, if you have multiple copies of it, I would definitely say keep two copies and then start maxing them out from there. Um, my Angelica, you can see the stats there, 11,000 HP, uh, 1,000 defense, not perfect, and to be honest, sh she should be doing a lot better with the amount of gear I have on her. I got her a T6 boot at 55% health. Um, if it wasn't for the substats, they're not that great. I would have swapped this to Crow and just have Crow have like massive HP. Um, but uh, this is good on her, so I'm keeping this on her for a while. Um, this is 18% defense. I have just too much rings to invest in right now. But this is a defense set. Um, perfect for the boot. Uh, so I'm going to keep this on her for a while. Hopefully, you roll a couple more health substats. And that would be really good for her. Even effect resistance, I think might be good for a healer as well. 34% effect resistance total right now. This I got from the raid, just I think from a mini boss drop. 28% health at this point, and I think it ends up being a 40-40% or maybe even 50% health, I'm not quite sure, um, if you plus 15 it. Uh, the defense is at 12%, really good substat roll. I think this one's going to be a keeper on my healer, um, but a lot of people I know are running with a speed meta right now, so they're going with speed gear. Um, so if, even if this is not going to be on her, um, it might go on a future future healer or future sub tank in the future. I don't know. Uh, this one is not that great. 7% health. It's plus 15 already. I don't know why I invested so heavily in this. It has a 10 speed. I suppose that's uh, something going for it. So that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, 85. I think this is from um, a golem drop. I got this. Um, 85, a T6 heroic helmet, which is really good. I plus 12 it right away. Um, it ended up being pretty awesome. 15% health already from the substats, and a 15% effect resistance, 6% defense. 
8% effectiveness, arguably you wouldn't want to two run too much high effectiveness, but then she can stun with her S1, so I suppose it's not a bad one to have for her. Uh, this one's a plus 9, I don't know why I you know have this on, I think I don't have another um, health health set weapon that is better than this, but 8% health, I just put it on her 2, two speed. And again, effective resistance and effectiveness, both pretty decent to have on Angelica here. So that's not really too much to show there, but uh, that's it for my Angelica. And anyway, let's go to DN and finish this off. My DN is probably the worst geared unit at this moment. Um, I have her with speed boot there. I got this, I think I crafted this from Wyvern. Um, it will end up being a 50% health or even a 55% health um, speed boot, which is good for DN, um, but arguably I think you would want to run a speed main stat on a speed set boot for DN here, or even a health health set boot with high speed stat. I think that's uh, usually how you run her, but for, for something like Abyss, I think her, the speed she has right now is pretty decent. Um, she is level she is level 60 right now, um, but I, I am waiting for a couple better gear before I start investing in her rings and uh, necklaces. Um, everything else is not not there and you might be wondering hey you know Jagan, why why are you not using all that uh, free gear um, we got over over the time um, because uh, again if you guys are watching and following my videos I do have all my best speed set gear on Judith so once I'm done with the Judith meta and arena um, DN will have something like this have something like this have something like this so it's all like really good stuff for her like at all that health and uh, defense, I might one day just swap it on DN and just see how how beefy I can make her. Uh, maybe it's time to go back to the DN um, DM meta for Arena. I do have a rod here for her as a sub sub healer for this run of Abyss specifically because you want to keep your health high. Um, says is the boss again, and uh, he really. He really preys on low health units, um, but anyways, the strategy is in that Abyss Run video. So that's it, I think, for the loadouts here. Um, I'm going to end this, and Echo, hey man, I'm going to give you a shout out, welcome to stream. And also Spam Junkie, welcome to stream as well. So I'm going to end this video here, hopefully this has been helpful, at least you guys know, you know, you could, you could watch the Abyss Run, and then look at my gear, and kind of weigh where you guys are at in terms of gear and equipment, and see, hey, maybe I could do... I can do well anyway you know maybe you don't have to have that much gear you know you could have something that is a bit lower tiered or obviously if you have something that's better you'll kill says way faster than what i did so anyways hopefully that's been helpful if you guys have discord check out the discord server follow me on twitter and subscribe to youtube if you haven't as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time